delete the default cube, add in a circle, fill type to end gone, and um, the vertices, this decides whether it's low poly or high poly. If you want high poly, you could do like 128 or 256. Actually, that seems a little too high poly. Maybe, yeah, I think I'll just go with 64 because I want it to look realistic. Okay. So next, add in a reference image. Okay, just name that something like reference image one and name that traffic cone. Copy that. Also, a good trick is n n renaming the meshes as well. So if you want to append this to another blend file, it's going to be way easier. Because if you don't, it's just going to say like circle dot oo five or something like that. So let's move this down. Scale that up. Extrude. Scale. Extrude. Extrude. Scale. Extrude. Oh, before I forget, sh sh shade smooth. I I have a shortcut key shift V that I use occasionally, but uh, that's not by default. So just press right click and shade smooth, and then go down to the object data properties, normals, and auto smooth. Just before we forget. Okay, now scale that in. Oh wait, no. That's not extra scale. Extrude scale. Doesn't have to line up exactly with the reference image. By the way, I'm going to leave this in the description. The link is right there, but you know, you some people might not want to type that out. Okay, then now press Control plus R, and then type 4. Then align this with the reference image. Okay. Now press face select, extrude, scale, point oh nine five. Or sorry, no O. Okay, and then extrude point one O point O one minus. Okay. Now that looks good now, but Something that really adds photorealism is bevel. Look at any object in the real world. Like, look at your table or your laptop. Every hard edge in the world has a bevel. So, let's just... I'm just going to create a backup, so... No bevel. Just in case I want a version with no bevel later on. And then archive, then move that into collection, and then just make it invisible. Okay, then start selecting all these loops. Make sure you're in edge select mode. Okay, we're going to do that part a little later. Okay, then press Control plus B. And 
This part isn't necessary if you're going for the low poly style, but I'm going for a little more of a high poly style. So I'm going to go with two segments. Okay. Actually, the auto smooth. Can I just fix that with just adjusting the auto smooth? Yeah. Okay, so have the auto smooth. Have the auto smooth angle at 50. I think we can hide that now. Now control B point O O two five. Okay, and the modeling is done. You have a high poly or low poly, depending on what you if you did the bevel or if what vertices you put on the circle. I don't care what it is, either low poly or high poly. Yeah. Me forty. I want. I want there to be hard edges. Just and you know what? That's good enough. Maybe I'll just shade that flat. That looks better. And then shade that flat. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. Delete that face. Delete that face. This is, this is completely optional, but this is if you want 100% quads. So press Control plus F, and then Grid Fill. And then press um, the Z, mi the minus Z, and then just drag the offset to 2 for this one and then well let me well sometimes it's hard to grab the edge okay grid fill 7 and for this one it's 6 Okay, that, that seems nice. You can add loops. You can add extra loop cuts. Like there and there. Without the grid fill, you wouldn't have been able to add extra loop cuts. Um, also, this part, I'm not going to say how to texture it. Um, or, I'll leave a link in the description to a good tutorial on how to texture, uh, plastic, but I'm just gonna add two materials to it. Press those two, press, hold on, press Alt, and then click to select the entire thing, then alt click again, or sorry, alt shift alt click. Okay, then press assign. Okay, then I'll have a tutorial linked in the description on how to texture this. Oh, I forgot to mention that you don't really need to add that material. I'll just go to the blender file and delete the material. Okay, you can just duplicate. After you're done with the Ryan King art tutorial, I've linked in the description, you can just duplicate the... Hold on. You can just duplicate the material, and then just change the colors. 